A, B and C, D are two digit numbers. Multiplying A, B with C, D will result in a three digit number D, F. So, A, B into C, D is equal to D, E, F. Okay. Adding D, E, F to another three digit number G, H, I. So, D, E, F plus G, H, I, you will get 975. Okay. Further, it is said that A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H and I are distinct digits. So, this is important because they are different digits. I cannot use the same digit for more than uh, one alphabet given here. Right. So, the possible digits are, you know, it is 0 to 9. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So, any of this value can come for the given alphabets. Okay. Now, it is already given that E is equal to 0 and F is equal to 8. So, in place of E, I can write 0 and in place of F, I can write 8. Okay. And I cannot use this 0 and 8 for any other alphabets because they are distinct. I can only use any of this digit only once. Right. So, I can cancel out this 0 and 8 because I cannot use it anymore. Okay. Now, this if you see here, I has to be 7. Then only 8 plus 7 will become 15. So, 5 I can write here and 1 I can write here. So, only possibilities for I is 7. So cancel out 7 also because we have already used 7. Now similarly H has to be 6 then only 1 plus 6 will become 7 here right. So H has to be 6. H is equal to 6 I am cancelling out 6 also. Now you have D plus G is equal to 9. So only possibility is 4 and 5 because 4 plus 5 is 9 and that is the only possibility among the remaining digits. So D comma G will be 4 or 5. So it will be 4 and 5. So I am cancelling out 4 and 5. Now, uh, if you have done up to here, from here itself, you can find out the answer. You don't need to do further calculations. Okay. Why? Because we have asked what is A plus B plus C. Now the remaining digits are only 1, 2, 3 and 9. This is the remaining digits. Right. So either A, A plus B plus C, A and B and C will be from 1, 2, 3. It could be from 1, 2, 9. It could be from 1, 3, 9. Or it can be 2, 3, 9. Now, if you add 1, 2, 3, it will be 6. If you add 1, 2 and 9, it is 12. If you add this one, it is 13. And if you add this one, it will be 14. 2 plus 3, 5. 5 plus 9 is 14. So, the only option available here, if you see here, 6 is the only one common. Right? So, 6 will be the answer. So, you don't need to do further calculation. Now, for the sake of calculation, I will show you how we can uh, done properly, okay, without this trick. So, here now uh, we got, we, now we know that A, B into C, D is D, E, F, okay, D, E, F. Now, we know that E and F are 0 and 8, so it is D, 0, 8. Now, either D is equal to 5. So, if I put 5 here, if I put 5 here, it will be like this. Now, you know that here the last number is 5. Then here the last digit is 8. It won't happen because if you multiply a number which is ending with 5, either the result should end with 0 or it should end with 5. So, D equal to 5 is not possible. So, D will be equal to 4. So, you can write 4 like this. So, we need to now find out what is A, B and C. Now, the remaining digits as I have told you is 1, 2, 3 and 9. Now, what will be B? Because this is the unit digit here and this is the unit digit here. Here, the unit digit is 8. So, the only possibility is this becoming 2 because 2 into 4 is 8. So, 2 we have written. Now, balance is 1, 3 and 9. So, just try to... Uh, put values for A and C. So just put A equal to 1, C equal to 3. Like that if you do some uh, random calculations, you can see that 12 into 12 into 34 is 408. So this is the possibility. Okay, that means A is 1, B is 2, C is 3. So A plus B plus C is 6. So in this way also you can do it but even without all these things if you uh, if you can uh, the if you can use the trick that i have uh, said before you can come to a conclusion okay